If you see a little bit of, red, bit of uh, red around here, it's probably my blood because I screwed up my finger doing this. Uh, but, you know, it's in a thing that should have been simple, I replaced the serpentine belt. And I was uh, when I was doing that, I was thinking, um, some people are going to think this is really stupid to not replace the water pump when you replace the serpentine belt. But I really can't do the water pump right now because I don't have any room or any place to, uh, but I don't have a drain pan, which I which I have in my storage facility. So I decided I would get this on because I knew it was going to be a problem at some point or another. But it turned out to be a bigger problem than I thought. And then I, uh, I did exactly the same thing I did before, at least it appeared to. And then I, and all of a sudden, everything worked fine. So I just know that the little things are the ones that are going to cause the most time pressures. So I do those first. Now, if I have to, when I go back, I'll have to remove this belt again to get the water pump off. But I will have had experience with it, and I won't get frustrated like I did this time because I was uh, because I didn't know what I was doing. I put belts on, but I haven't done serpentine belts before. I did it back in the days. And in, in my old, my dad's old cars, when there are multiple belts, a fan belt, an AC belt, etc. So it, this was a new one for me, so I thought I would get it out of the way first. So that's the way it's going. I might even replace that fan clutch before I actually take the water pump off. Anyway, I'll talk to you later when uh, this adventure, putting this thing, continues. Uh, I'm doing it this way because I'm doing... I'm sort of doing stealth repair. Nobody wants you to do uh, auto repair in their uh, in their uh, parking lot, but they will allow you to do things like get your get your car started. So um, I don't want to be out longer than it would take to do that. This took a while, but I had to go in multiple times and to get band aids, etc. All right, I'll be back uh, to do some more stuff on the van. And let's see, I got, the, I got the filthy hands to show it. And this is the old belt that I replaced, the old uh, serpentine belt. And it didn't look too bad until you reach here. So it was on its way out. So I'm glad I did get that done. It was making noise. So one task out of the way. Uh, I don't consider taking the fan shroud off a of task. It's just a pre-work step. Here's the fan shroud. Right now I'm not using one, but I'm... Um, uh, I'm staying real close, so it's not like I'm going across country without the fan shroud. So uh, I, I'm, I'm not worried about overheating. Uh, in any case, uh, that's what I've got, and I will be back, and we will get keep going on this thing for my foreseeable future, because I still got to get that dang emergency brake slash parking brake cable on. That's that's going to be a nightmare. I'm just trying to decide if it fits if fits to my advantage to do that. Oh, I've already bought the cable, so I'm going to do my best. All right, I'll talk to you later.